All right, so today we are testing the RX 4080 in Diablo 4. Now this is the server slam weekend, which means it's uh, open. It's the, the last beta, I believe, before the game actually launches on the 6th of June. Today we're pairing this GPU with a 12700K CPU and a DDR4 4000 megahertz uh, CL18 memory. And uh, currently we are at 1440p and on the ultra preset, right? So at the moment we've got uh, no upscaling, no DLC, SS enabled, no frame generation enabled. So let's see how it goes. So this is going to be my fourth time recording this video. Previously, I had a lot of issues with the frame generation. It actually didn't even show up. I only had FSR2, uh, and uh, now there's not even FSR2. There's only DLSS and frame generation after a, a small update. I got no idea what uh, actually happened there. And uh, I had to restart the game and then those options showed up. Then I recorded again and uh, frame generation actually lowered the frame rate. So I don't know what's up with that. Then I had to, oops, then I had to uh, restart my system and uh, now it seems to be fine after the third attempt and uh, now it's my fourth uh, time recording this video. All right, so this guy's pretty tough. I've got uh, quite a few powerful spells here, but I might not uh, make it. Uh, all right, but you can see there that we are getting around uh, 250 frames per second, uh, even with this uh, boss fight here. Not that there's uh, too much happening on the screen here. Uh, Diablo can get quite a bit busy, and uh, this is definitely not an area where it's going to be that busy. Now, unfortunately, we can't uh, pause to change resolutions or uh, options because it's an online game or an on always online game, sorry. So, uh, can't pause at all. So we have to unfortunately fight this uh, stupid Baron. So you can see at 1440p we are fully GPU bound. Our GPU usage is in the high 90s. I mean it's 97-98% uh, most of the time. Then it goes down to 96 and that, that's uh, really nothing. So uh, this game actually makes good use of a CPUs, which is good to see. I mean, even a 4080 is a GPU bound at 1440p with a 12700K. And that's definitely uh, good news for me. And you can see that the the stuttering seems to have improved quite a lot over the previous... Can I actually pick that up? Oh, that's actually a health potion, alright. So uh, the stuttering improved quite a lot over the last uh, betas. I was very worried about that because the first two betas, the stuttering was uh, terrible. And uh, I thought, uh, or I was actually worried that it, it'll make it into the full game, seeing that it's so close to release. But it's amazing what the team ac actually accomplished uh, in a few weeks. And uh, there we go. All right, so that was it for this boss fight. So it's still getting around to 145, 250 frames per second. I just want to see if frame generation actually helps now. And now it actually makes a difference. Not a lot. Uh, we gained around 50 frames per second. But uh, 300 frames per second is definitely nothing to scoff at. Unless you really want to max out your 360 hertz panel. Unfortunately, if you've got a 500 hertz panel, uh, you won't be able to max that out as the game is capped at 400 frames per second. All right, let's just see if we can actually get close to that 400 frames per second at uh, 1440p. Uh, I'm going to leave it on ultra. I'm just going to uh, enable DLSS uh, super resolution here. Let's just go to performance straight off the bat, see if we can get to 400 frames per second. Uh, that was pretty close, getting 375 frames per second so now we can actually max out our uh, 360 hertz monitor not that i've got one my panel is 165 hertz so i'm good <laughs> all right so let's just see if we go down to ultra performance i think we are hitting a cpu bottleneck here so we might not uh, gain that much uh, there we go we saw 400 frames per second there and uh, there we go we maxed it out now you can see our gp usage is still very high, uh, almost locked at uh, 97, 98%. And that's just the frame generation helping a lot when CPU bound. But yeah, you can see we got 400 frames per second in this uh, specific area with the frame generation enabled. Now let's just see if we disable frame generation. I mean, even without frame generation, we're getting 400 frames per second. So, okay. Let's see how low we need to go. All 
I mean, we couldn't get 400 frames per second at the DLSS performance with the frame generation enabled. So this is what I mean, right? It's not really helping that much at the moment. Something is definitely not working as it should. 375 frames per second. And if we then enable frame generation, it's uh, still going to be... Well, that went up by, uh, not still around 375 frames per second. So, which is contrary to how frame generation actually works, because it uh, it actually helps quite a lot when you are CPU bound as well. All right, let's just uh, get to the top here. So that was inside getting 300 and something frames per second, outside still getting 300 and something frames per second. Definitely nothing to worry about if you've got a 4080 and you want to play at 1440p. All right, let's just uh, see what happens at 4K. Now, unfortunately, I need to go into Windows, change the desktop resolution because this game, you can't change the resolution within the game. So I'll be right back. All right, we're now at 4K and I've got uh, DLSS disabled and frame generation disabled. Reflex low latency is still enabled. That does not do anything to the frame rate. So let's see what happens here at 4K. All right, so just in this uh, outside area, looks like we're getting around 140 frames per second. I know we're getting 140 frames per second because it's the fourth time I'm running this uh, specific benchmark. So I, I think we, we topped out at around, or averaged at around 135 frames per second. So, uh, I mean, at 4K, this is a pretty good experience. Once again, I'm not entirely sure why this game does have DLSS uh, 3 frame generation. I think the more games that have it, the better, but this is definitely one of those games that don't seem to really need it. Sure, this is with a 4080, but you've got normal DLSS as well for the 20 and 30 series GPUs. And I mean, that does a pretty good job as well. And uh, I mean, this game doesn't look terrible. Sure, it's not the best looking game out there when compared to newer AAA titles, but it is a uh, Pretty good looking when compared to the previous Diablo games. All right, so 140 frames per second, give or take at 4K native. Let's see if frame generation actually makes a difference this time. All right, so we went from 140 frames per second to 140. 55 frames per second, uh, around 10% increase, right? So frame generation on its own is definitely not doing uh, too much here. This is actually the lowest uh, increase or frame rate increase that I've seen with frame generation, uh, only 10%. So I mean, all the other games that we test with, we enable DLSS super resolution in conjunction with frame generation. But even when frame generation is enabled on its own, I don't think I've seen the performance gain be this small. All right, so it doesn't really matter. With frame generation on, we got around 156 frames per second here. I'm just going to disable frame generation. Let's see what uh, DLSS can do for us here. All right, so DLSS actually took us from 140 frames per second at native to 190 frames per second, 200 frames per second, depending on where you are. So that's a much bigger increase than just frame generation can uh, do for you. Uh, I mean, the technologies are, are meant to be used in conjunction with each other because frame generation can increase your input latency. Not that it matters with Diablo, obviously, but... Uh, the LSS2 then increases your frame rate and uh, because it renders at a lower internal resolution and uh, that in turn reduces the latency so that when you enable frame generation the hit is not as noticeable. All right, so with just the LSS quality, we had uh, 194 frames per second uh, on average. Now I'm just going to enable frame generation with the LSS quality. And this is what I saw earlier as well, is that my frame rate actually lowers when I enable frame generation. And I thought it was just uh, something wrong with my system. I rebooted it uh, and it seemed fine with the previous tests just now, but 
it seems like uh, frame generation reduces the frame rate in certain scenarios. Now, this is a beta. I mean, we can expect quite a lot of issues. It's just strange to me that sometimes it works fine and sometimes it doesn't. I don't think we can go back into that dungeon. All right, so let's just, let's just stand here. I'm just going to disable frame generation again, 170 frames per second, disable frame generation, and uh, 100 uh, 85 frames per second so it's something definitely not right here with a frame generation all right so let's just uh, go on to dlss balance let's see how close we can get to this 400 frames per second cap at 4k all right so dlss balanced uh, we went from 180 frames per second to around 210 frames per second 220 in this specific area which is a pretty good uh, performance bump and I'd say that uh, 4K with DLSS balanced still looks pretty good. I'd even play 4K performance. Personally, I wouldn't go down to ultra performance because that then renders internally at 720p and the artifacting, especially lighting artifacting, just becomes uh, too distracting for me personally. All right, so let's just see if uh, DLSS frame generation works with DLSS balanced. Just going to enable it. We had around 210, 220 frames per second, and going down to 180 frames per second. Right, so definitely something broken with the DLSS frame generation. Let's just go all the way down to ultra performance here. Save the change and let's just disable frame generation. Right, so we're getting around 270 frames per second. Let's just get to keep on pressing tab because in the older versions of Diablo the map is actually displayed on your screen a little bit transparent so you can still <laughs> run around while the map is open I'm so used to that so getting around 270 frames per second I think it's the third time I'm seeing that let's just uh, enable frame generation and see if it actually helps at this setting and we went down to 230 frames per second so you definitely something not right here with the frame generation let's just see if we can actually get ourselves to be cpu bound because frame generation helps a lot when you are cpu bound i'm going to lower the detail setting to low i'm not sure if we will actually be able to get ourselves the cpu bound did the game crash right the game didn't crash this is just the low preset. I'm pretty sure there are still other settings that we can uh, set to lower because we are still GPU bound. I mean, our GPU usage is still sitting at 97% uh, GPU usage. Now, this is with the DLSS Ultra Performance at 4K, so 4 720p on the lowest setting. All right, so let's just uh, see our numbers here, 315, 320 frames per second. Enable frame generation, save the changes, and going down to 240 frames per second. All right, so definitely something to work at. All right, but that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to, to test out uh, Diablo on the RDX 4080 and see what frame generation can actually do for us in this game. And apparently it seems like it can only reduce our performance. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, we hope to see you in the next one.